Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, thanks for joining me for another video. I have a very interesting video for you. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please check out the description of this video. I'm going to include a lot of information as well as links to the information. Okay, I want to talk about Federal Firearms License. Licenses or license. There are several types of them and I'm going to go over just one of them, but let me tell you about the different types. You have dealers, pawnbrokers, collector of curios and relics, which is the one I'm going to highlight in this video, firearms ammunition manufacturer, firearms manufacturer, importer of firearms and ammunition, dealer in destructive devices, manufacturer of destructive devices, and importer of destructive devices. So as you can see, there's a long list of federal firearms, firearms licenses that you can get. Okay, let's talk about the one I want to highlight, which is a collector of curios and relics. And collector means that you have several firearms that you may keep at your home or your business for collecting purposes only. That means you can't buy or sell them under no circumstances, as far as I understand, uh, by reading the law. Now, on some occasions, you can uh, trade weapons okay so you want to you want to check the ATF's website which again I'm going to give you the link to that let's talk about what it takes to get this done or what it takes to get this particular license first of all you have to be 21 years of age you cannot be um, any kind of felon you cannot have broken the law in the past or been prohibited from buying uh, firearms okay so that's the most important thing once you meet those requirements then it's pretty simple uh, from that point on out um, all you have to do from, from there is you're going to fill out the application you're going to pay your fee. Now the fee is $30. That's $10 a year. So you pay your $30 and it's good for three years. Now there's a couple forms you have to fill out when you're getting this license or when you're attempting to get the license. And I have them right here. Um, this is directly from the website which I'm going to put in the description as I stated. Now I'm not going to go through this entire form. I'm going to give you a form number. Let me scroll to the top. It's OMB number 1140-0038 that's one of the forms and then the second form you go to the top here and guys I'm going to show you these forms are pretty self-explanatory which is why I'm not going to go through um, each, and, each and every one of the details now this one's OMB 1140-0061 okay so you got 1140-38 and 61 and these, like I said, these are very basic. It's going to ask you your name, um, have you broken certain laws, it's going to ask you your address. Uh, the same things you would do when you're going to get a firearm, you're going to have to fill out on this form. Except this process, in my opinion, is much easier. Okay, now once you fill out these forms, you get your $30 of fee prepared, you're going to send it to an address. And again, that address is on these forms. Now, the last thing you need to do prior to sending the forms is you need to find out who your chief law enforcement officer is in your city. That can be the chief of police, that can be the sheriff, that can be the constable. Um, you're going to end up putting his name and address on one of these forms. And I forget which form it is, but it's on one of them. I'll let you know in the description. Once you do that, you're going to make a copy of it and you're going to send it to him. And that's it. You don't have to go um, and see him face to face or anything like that. Just send him the form and then uh, you're good to go. So you mail these forms out. And then, uh, from what I've been told, from anywhere from three weeks to about six weeks, you're going to get that license. Again, guys, you cannot buy and sell firearms uh, like if you were a typical dealer or if you worked in a pawn shop. Nothing like that. All you can do is collect older weapons. Older means 50 years. 50 years or older. Because under 50 years, that's considered a normal firearm. And you don't want to be involved in that unless you have a different FFL. Okay? Guys, um, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty uh, fluid, pretty easy process. If you guys got any questions at all, please let me know. Again, I'm going to include a lot of information in the description. Um, you guys have any concerns about this, let me know. I'll see you in the forums. I'll direct you to the website, whatever you guys need. All right, guys, take care.